This is a video that you want to watch first before you purchase the DV theme, because I'm going to cover pretty much everything that you need to know before you make that decision. So let's dive in and let's see how DV works. So first of all, we're going to talk about the interface. So before you start designing your page, you are going to be greeted by these three options. You can clone an existing page, or you can choose from the hundreds of the pre-made layouts that are designed for you ahead of time by Elegant Themes, or you can build from scratch. So let's start by taking a look at starting from scratch. So when you first look at this, it looks very plain and it can be very confusing. So let me just cover what is important here. So if we close out of here, the main interface is composed of three main items. You've got your sections, your rows, and then your modules. All right, so this is your section. So I'm gonna come over here and you can see all your options over here. So this is where the content is. So you can start off by coming over here. Perhaps you want to add a background color so you can add it over here. So let's make it light because we are going to be adding a bit more content inside later on. Over here on the design tab, we have more options. We can go in and adjust the sizing, the spacing. So everything is well laid out. So if I want to add some padding, I can add it over here. If I want to add them some margins, I can do that over here. So all the customizations for whatever it is that we need to work on are on that single panel, which is fantastic. All right, so let's save this. So let's say you want to start adding your content. This is where you can start adding your rows. So you can do that by choosing whatever type of row you want to add. So let's say you want to go with four columns. So I'm going to select that. And now we get this prompt to insert our module. So you need to know beforehand what you need to add into each and every item. So let's say I want to add a blurb. I can just type it in here and then select it. So that's how easy it is. And then once you've done that, remember we had the same panel. So you now this is where you add your content. This is where you go into the design and this is where you go into the advanced if you want to add some CSS or you want to add some conditions, some animations and so on. So as you can see, the interface is very clean and it's very easy to find whatever it is that you want to work on. Now in this interface, we also have some shortcuts. So let's say I want to copy and paste. I can just mouse over here on this gray item Command C or Control C on a PC, and then you can come over here, Control V or Command V on a, on a Mac. So this is how you can use, you know, copy and paste. It's very, very easy to do that. So I'm gonna go in and add a background by coming over here. So let's say we've just finished designing this, but we need to apply the same design onto the other three. So there's several ways to do this, which is really, really good because this enables you to work really fast. So one way is to extend the styles. So let's save this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hover over here and then click in this item here. And I'm going to say extend blurb styles. I'm going to select that. And now it's going to ask me, throughout what? So I'm gonna say throughout this section. And once I select that, I can just extend and all my designs now have been updated just by doing that. So this is going to save us a lot of time. I can also update this by coming over here, clicking on these three little items, and then I can copy module styles and then paste them onto each and every one of these individually. So the builder itself has a lot of power baked inside. So let's work on something else that is very, very useful as you're designing your website. And this feature is one of my favorite features. So let's say you've designed this and you want to make sure that this is a preset that you're going to use every single time you use a blurb. What you do is you click on this gear icon and then over here on the top, you click on the top here and then you can say create new preset from current styles. So I'm gonna choose that. And then I'm just gonna name this green and then save. So now let's say I'm designing my website and this is a totally different page and I want to add another blurb. I can just search for it like that. So when you first add it, it goes in by default. You can see what it looks like here. But because we saved a preset, I can come on the top here and just choose green. So this just makes the design process very, very comfortable and easy to follow. Now, let's talk about something else that is very important. So let's say you spent a lot of time designing this section, but you want to save it to use it later on as you're designing your site. So what you can do here is you click on this little arrow here, and this now is going to ask you to save this to the library. So we can just give this, call this green section, and I can actually save this to my library. So if I wanted, I could add my name of my category here and some tags, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna click on a save to library. So let's say I'm working on a totally different website and I would like to add that section, saving me a lot of time redesigning it again. So I can just come over here and I can now say add from library. So in my library here, we can see I have my green section. So I can click on it 
and then click on use this section. And now I've just pulled that green section that I'd saved earlier on. And you can do this with pretty much any part of your website. Just save all the items to the library, which is really, really good. Now this only works on your current website. So although it's a very, very good thing, but what's even better is Divi has a new trick up its sleeves. They have now Divi Cloud, which means that this layout can actually be saved in the cloud. Any website that you design from anywhere or any domain will now have access to the Divi Cloud. Now, let me show you how this works. So right now, I'm not even logged into the Divi Cloud. So I'm gonna show you quickly how I can log in. So I'm gonna click here on the three little dots, click on this plus button, and now we have these three options. So what I need to do now, since we're talking about the Divi Cloud, is to come over here and sign into the Divi Cloud. Now, this is really, really powerful. So I, all I have to do now is to click on Login, and now I'm in. So I can now go to my saved layouts. So you can see now I'm accessing the Divi Cloud, and this is really, really amazing. So let's say you're a freelance designer and you're designing websites, you can just go into your cloud and just download anything that you need from the cloud. So for example, let's say I want to uh, work on this complete page here. So I can just click on it and then I can say, use this layout and just like that. And this now is importing the whole page. So if you had specific pages in the Divi cloud, you can actually pull them down this way. And this is going to make the design process very, very easy. I now have my page, which I was able to pull from the Divi cloud. So let's say you're working on this and you want to save this layout to the cloud. All you have to do is to click on this little item here, give it a name. So I'm just gonna say Mac section, and then I can now say save to cloud. I can choose my category here, save it in my light sections, save to cloud. So anytime I'm designing my website, I can access this design. And all I have to do is to do a bit of changes here, maybe change the colors, perhaps maybe change the fonts, but pretty much the cloud is really, really powerful. And this is something that a lot of the page builders out there don't have, and Divi has this. Now, the next feature that Divi has, which I would like to share with you, is sharing your layouts. So let's say you want to share this. All you have to do is to click on these two arrows here. It's portability, and then you give it a name. So let's call this uh, Mac Share. So once you've given it a name, I can just click on Export, and I've just exported it to my computer. You can see now on the bottom left here, is showing. So now let's say I want to add this design onto my site. Let's pretend that this is a brand new page with nothing on it. All I have to do is I just have to drag and drop it just like that and then click on import Divi Builder layout. So as you can see, I've imported everything. You can share this via email or even save it on your computer for future use. All right, so let's talk about the pre-made layouts because this is also very, very important. This will enable you to design your websites super fast. So if I come over here to the bottom, I can just click on those three little dots, click on this plus button, and this now is giving me access to the pre-made layouts. So this is a library of pre-designed layouts for you, which you can just go in and change your text and images, and pretty much you'll have a website up and running super fast. So there is quite a lot of layouts here. You can see there's 2,212. So let's say I want uh, this layout here. I can just click once on it. And this is going to give me an idea of what this looks like. So I can scroll here. Now, by the way, this is mobile friendly. And then over here, if I want to take a look at, say, for example, the about page, I can just click on that and this will show me what the about, the about page looks like. So let's say I want to use this layout. You can just click on use this layout and pretty much it's added onto your page. And not only do you have that one design, you also have all these other pages. So you have your pricing, your landing, your home, your features, and so on. So this is a complete website. So what you need to do ahead of time is just to create the pages first and then just import these designs. Now let's talk about color. Color is very, very important in design and the way Divi has implemented it is really, really cool. So let me show you. So over here on the dashboard, you wanna come all the way down to Divi and then click on theme options. So this is where you can set your colors globally. So this comes with a basic color palette, but we can change these colors however we want. So let's say uh, for this black, I wanna change this to this light gray. And for this white, I don't really want to white, but I want something just off white. And then here, let's, okay, now let me just make these uh, colors like really extreme, just, just, just so that you can see how I'm changing them. And let's say this is going to be our call to action. So let's say this is my complete color palette. All I have to do now is to scroll all the way down here and click on save changes. 
Okay, so once saved, over here now you can see I have a design, but I want to change this with the new colors that I've just created. So I've just refreshed the page here. Our color palette that we've just created is now going to follow us on pretty much anything that we're going to design across the whole website. Let me show you how. If I click here on this gear icon now, I can now go to my design tab and start changing my colors. So if I click on this little item here, you can see now this is our color palette. So let's say I wanna go with this color here. It's just been updated. And let's say I want to change this background color here to match what I've just created. I can just choose my color just like that. And I've just updated my color palette. Color has been implemented really, really well in Divi, but it doesn't just end there. There's also an algorithm that helps you choose colors that work well together. Let me show you how it works. So if I come back over here, I can now go into my colors. So let's say this icon here, the color is too bright. I can now click on these three little dots here and notice what happens. I've got more colors now to choose from and these are created using an algorithm. And the really cool thing as well is if you click here on recent, this will show you the recent color that you've just used. Now you see Divi is looking great right now as a tool that we can use to design websites, but we wanna take this a step further. Let's say you have customers that want to grow their mailing list or they want to sell on their website. Well, Divi has you covered. Let me show you what you can do with the email opt-in. So if I come over here and let's say we want to generate leads, if if you go in and set up your form by coming over here to your email account, you have service providers that work well with Divi. So if I click on this drop down, you can see we have a massive list. So if you use, let's say, Aweber as your email marketing system, you can select that and connect it very easily. So you have ConvertKit, you have Fluent CRM, GetResponse, and so on. This is ready for you out of the box to start generating your leads for your customers or even for yourself. The next feature I wanna talk about, I'm pretty sure no other page builder out there has it, and this is A-B testing. So to set up A-B testing, all you have to do is to click on these three little dots here, click on split test. Next, you wanna click on okay and then you want to choose your control. So this is what we're measuring. We want to see what happens or how many people click on this click here button when we've given the two options of which one is going to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. So now we can see we have one and two. So the best thing to do now is to change the design of the second one so that we know which one is going to work. So I'm gonna come over here, switch now to my desktop view. On this design, I'm going to change the background color. So I'm gonna come over here. And for this one here, I'm gonna change it to that. So now I can cycle between uh, these two by hovering over here. And if I click on this little arrow, this is message one and this is message two. So what's gonna happen now is as your visitors are coming to your website, they are going to be shown these two different messages and Divi is going to work out which one has performed better by measuring it using how many people clicked on this call to action button. So at any point, if you want to see any stats, you can just click over here. And this now is showing you how many clicks, the reads, the bounces, and the engagement. The next part of Divi I wanna talk about is the theme builder. So you can access it by coming over here to Divi and then clicking on the theme builder. This is really, really powerful because you can design your website pretty much from the theme builder over here. So if I come to my website here, you can see that we have this uh, header here. I can go now and change it across the whole website by coming over here to one central place. And this is where I can update my colors or even any settings. And the one thing I like about this is it just looks like the Divi Builder. So let's say I want to update my background color here. So let's say I'm gonna go with that. I can just go ahead and save, close out of here, save and exit. And now when I come to my site and I refresh, you can see now my header has been updated and this is what it's going to look like across the whole website. So you can add more templates by just clicking here, build new template. And now it gives you an option to choose what sort of template you want to build. Pretty much you can design any template throughout here. But what is very powerful is as you add more features to your website, like let's say, for example, you add WooCommerce, all that will show up over here, which means you can go in and set it up right here. And here we also have the ability to set up your 404 pages, your search results page pages, and so on. So this is a very, very powerful area of Divi and the way it's laid out is very, very easy to use. Now let's talk about the pricing. Divi comes with two pricing options. So we have this yearly access, which is $89, 
But what I really like about this is you can build unlimited websites with just this $89. So if you wanted to say, for example, start working as a freelance designer, you can build unlimited websites just from $89. So this is super, super powerful. What's even better is if you pay $249, this is a lifetime license, which means you only pay once and you get all these features in the future absolutely free. So I would highly recommend that you pick any one of these, but I'm more leaning towards the lifetime because once you purchase it, that's it. You can design unlimited websites and you can make your money back just by designing your first website. Oh, I almost forgot. To make it easier for you to get started with Divi, I've also created a course called the Divi Jumpstart course. This you get absolutely free if you purchase Divi using my affiliate link. This is a course that will get you up and running super fast and master Divi, saving you hours of going into YouTube and scrolling through long tutorials. So if you're new to Divi, there are chances that you are going to get stuck. So how is the support? Well, the support is really good. So there's two ways you can get support. Firstly, you can go to their main website here. And if you click on this little bubble on the bottom here, you get this main pop-up. So this is where you can search for any documentation here. Or if you want to chat to someone, you can come over here and chat to someone. They are really, really quick and uh, it really works flawlessly. The other option is you can come over here on your website to the support center. So let's click here on the support center. So you can have an option to have one of the engineers to connect to your website remotely. So what you need to do is to activate it here on remote access. And then you can say activate full admin privileges. And now you can choose chat with support and then copy the token here and give them the token and they will be able to log on to your website, fix the problem. And once it's done, all you have to do is to deact deactivate the admin privileges, which means they won't have access to your website. I think this is a fantastic way of providing support. And I don't think there's any other page builder that has this option here. And in case you've forgotten, the remote access will automatically be disabled after three days. Now let's talk about the documentation. So each and every item that you work on in Divi has a video to show you how it's uh, used. So let's say I'm working on this blurb here and uh, I'm a bit stuck and I'm not sure what to do. So what you can do now is you need to look for this question mark here, which says help. So when you click on it, it is going to show you a video on how this item actually works and how it's used. And you can also come over here and see the shortcuts, which will also help you work faster. The next feature I want to talk about is the Divi marketplace. So let's say you want to extend Divi and add more features or functionality. There's a lot here that you can choose from. So all these items here are on sale and you can download pretty much anything here to extend how DV works. And what's even better is you can also apply to the DV marketplace and upload all your designs and sell them in the marketplace, which means that you can actually earn some money after you've mastered how DV works and you've created your own designs. Overall, in my opinion, DV is a very solid page builder and I highly recommend it. It's very, very easy to use. Pricing is fantastic and they are consistently adding new features. So go ahead, download it. The link to that is in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.